My name is Manaj Margo, and I work along with uh, Gabor Kahneman and uh, Lars Zimmerman at Genesis as a software developer. Uh, I started to work on uh, fixing child bugs around uh, last August. I fixed more than 50 OMICs on uh, child interoperability bugs and uh, other child uh, usability issues. For example, import of hatch shoes, style and uh, background color in charts, import and uh, export of access labor rotation and uh, text break, uh, export of individual data label properties and uh, import of current data label separator, uh, export of uh, error bars, import and uh, export of missing data point symbols. And uh, fix uh, several bugs that are related to Axis and uh, implemented complex Axis labels in DOTX. And uh, improved uh, import and export of secondary Axis and uh, combined charts. Unfortunately, uh, so, it's fine. Uh, this is an order presentation, so the last pieces uh, about the uh, internal data tables. We will not be in this presentation. So let's take a further look of what has evolved in this area. Mm, there are two bigger problems at the import of hash style. We couldn't import the hash style and separately the background color of the hash style. Mm, setting an explicit field hash or creating a main field hatch which uh, stores values in a global container save the solve the first problem. Before the fix, the chart shapes appear with the default horizontal blue lines instead of the correct style. Now almost all of the head styles from Microsoft Office are supported by the Office and uh, they appear correctly in both of the programs. Also, the background color is the same as the original color now. You can see on those pictures. So, let's move on. The following slide shows a fix for an axis labor rotation, but the image in the middle shows the original file. The last one shows the bad export. Um, I'm sorry, but everything's broken. It's just, yeah, you can just, you can carry on, yeah, but the microphones are broken. You know, right? okay. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, everything's broken. Yeah. So I will talk uh, longer. It is enough. Yes, thank you. Uh, the image in the middle shows the original file, the last file shows from LibreOffice 6.1 and the right image shows the good export from LibreOffice 6.2. The problem was solved by a reflect the angle if tax rotation is between 90 and 270 degree and the recalculate the tax rotation between 270 and 0 degree. It is because the OXL counts clockwise. So the following slide uh, shows the fix for an axis label like and uh, uh, text break. The problem was that the vertical axis label couldn't be broken into multiple lines. The picture above illustrates the issue, and the picture below shows how it looks like in LibreOffice 6.3 after the fix. The following slide. Uh, shows also an axis labor rotation by when uh, opening an OXML file in LibreOffice it is expected to have the style and appearance of the original file from Microsoft Office however long uh, context and the label along the x-axis were not broken automatically the picture above illustrates the bug before the fix and the picture below shows how it like uh, in LibreOffice 6.2 after the fix. On this slide, uh, there is an export problem with individual 
data label properties and their import problem uh, with the data label separator. As you can see, the single data label formatting disappeared and the document was saved as a OXML. Another problem emerged with the data label separator when I opening an OXML document that was uh, created in Microsoft Word, the new line uh, separator has turned into a semicolon. To fix the individual data label, the correct X label box sets uh, had to be exported. This uh, prevents formatting from disappearing. To fix the data label separator, we had to set the separator to a new line if explicit separator is not present in the XML. On this slide, you can see a bar about the export of error bars. After saving an ODS or OXML file to OXML <coughs> and reloading it, the error bars disappeared. They were present, but uh, they have become invisible because their lifestyle was set to now. Other properties have also disappeared. The solution was uh, very simple because we just had to export the shape props, freestyle, line style, line by line lower, etc. of the error bars to OXML. It was completely missing from the chart export. On the next two slides, uh, I will show you two other bugs that uh, haven't been repaired for years. Uh, this one hasn't been repaired uh, almost seven years. Here on the left, you can see the opening. Uh, see that the opening uh, attached OXML file in LibreOffice, duplicating multiple grid lines uh, with their corresponding digits. Because there were several reasons for this bug, such as uh, rounding errors and uh, number formatting errors. Uh, for example, 0 0.5 appeared as a map, etc. Or the distance between the two tick marks. If uh, labels with the same value follow each other due to the incorrectly applied number formatting, then we don't uh, duplicate the labels of values on the axis. If this fits, the display of these labels is better in LibreOffice than in uh, Microsoft Office. It is because they match the distance between the tick marks. If the distance is larger than some unknown value, then the same label appears twice. On this slide, there is another older bug. The legend appeared without the titles when we opened in Microsoft Office, or when we opened in the new office. The problem was that in Microsoft Office there are no unnamed data series. However, uh, not a series with default name and uh, no name exported to OXML at all. Also, <coughs> this didn't import anything but a legend without any names. The best approach to fix this bug was to provide a mechanism in chart model that uh, replaced the absence of the name of series with a correct localized one. It also works in case of OBS format. The bug I will talk about here how serious data loss during uh, export and import. For example, on these pictures you can see that the labels on the Z axis show the wrong data after export. The picture on the left side shows the bad export from LibreOffice 6.2. And the picture on the right side shows a good export from LibreOffice 6.3. To fix the data loss, we had to export the properties of Z axis into a series axis XML type. So let's see what has improved on the data point symbol still. There are three annoying problems. The first one happened in the green frame. 
uh, not a polymicro was set to none, but instead uh, of an empty green thing called display uh, black square. This is now fixed, as you can see in the right picture. The second one happened in the purple frame, where data point symbols with undefined field color attribute were imported as invisible white symbols. It has been fixed by using the line colors on them. The third one happened in the blue frame, where a data point symbol uh, had an individual property for a property that is different from the data series property. This other property was not exported at all. The solution to this problem, the problem was to export the custom or individual data point marker set into a, into a DPT tag. So on this slide, uh, we can see the export of the chart subtitle before and after the fix. The picture on the top shows charts uh, with titles and uh, subtitles, and the picture on the bottom shows charts with uh, only subtitles. When a subtitle was added to a chart, it wasn't saved as uh, OXML at all, because OXML doesn't support subtitles in charts. The solution to this problem was to concatenate subtitles and main title text if uh, both exist. This is the same method that is used for docs export. If there is a subtitle below, to avoid data loss, the solution is to export the whole subtitle shape instead of the title shape and uh, keep its properties. On the next two slides, I will show the improvements made to secondary axis and uh, combined charts. A uh, lot of work belongs to this area, and these are not all that. On the picture in the middle, you can see the original ODS file, which uh, looks fine. On the left image, the original file was round with in LibreOffice 6.2 and uh, reopened with it. On the right picture, the original file was round with the LibreOffice 6.2 and reopened with the Microsoft Office. Just uh, by looking at the pictures on the side, we can tell that uh, there is many problems. Here, for example, the, the primary and secondary axes are swapped. The secondary y-axis, primary x-axis, and main grid lines are disappeared and the data series are attached to the wrong part axis. An opening uh, combined charts in Microsoft Office after it was found in LibreOffice, it, uh, it looks completely different from what it looked like after creation. So let's see how this is, uh, looks like now in LibreOffice 6.3. The little picture so shows the original ODS file, uh, which looks fine also. The left picture shows the original file, which was round with the LibreOffice 6.3 and uh, reopened with it. On the right picture, the original file was round with the LibreOffice 6.3 and reopened with Microsoft Office. Now, these images are a lot more similar to each other than they were before the fix. The primary and secondary biases are not small. The secondary Y axis and the primary X axis is visible, the main grid line is also visible, and the data series are attached to the correct Y axis. Of course, it took several patches and bug fixes to achieve these results. On this slide, you can see the result of four bigger fixes in the field of complex category axis labels. The first problem was that the X category axis labels disappear from the chart and the, and the data disappeared from the inner data table. Now complex category labels are visible and the inner data table contains the correct text of the category columns. The fix was a simple task as none, as none of the multi-level string reference 
multi-level stream cache, point count, level count, XLR flex were not imported or exported at all. Besides the OX import part, the multi-levels of the category axis in the chart module had to be managed too. So let's take a look at the export part. The multi-level category was created in the writer and say as a plotix, the two or more categories were concatenated and uh, saved as well. To, to counter this, the categories are now split according to their level. The last part of the solution was the view uh, and rotation of the different levels. The chart after the picks looked like the original from a national office. So, about our future plans, currently LibreOffice only supports one type of combined charts, line and uh, column combination. We are planning to add uh, two or more combined charts, implementing them both in the UI and when importing files. We are planning uh, to work on the correct import of custom data labels, LibreOffice Writer, to achieve this, we have to prevent data loss. First, uh, which currently happens in the import of the text file. In order to entirely stop the data loss, first of all, <coughs> first of all, of the unsupported .tx data labels, or named as custom labels, must be implemented in ODF and then in .tx. And uh, also, we will continue reducing the number of chart bugs, especially the import and export of OXLR files. And thank you for your attention. Thank you.